Our big story at 5:30: an unanswered 911 call in the middle of an emergency could be a matter of life or death. But it's a reality in most parts of our country. Yeah, fire and police agencies are struggling to fill operator jobs. The city of Coco is looking to the future. High school graduates. Fox 35's Esther Bauer tells us about a new scholarship program. These two seniors are now out of the classroom and launching careers in public safety. People don't really want to uh, do that dangerous stuff. When people are like running away from the fire, you see us running in. So I, I think that's what really takes people away from that, that part of it. I really like safety and public safety. Um, and I really think that I can make that difference, um, especially being, you know, my color. Because um, a lot of backgrounds are like you know more white you know oh yeah black people really doesn't have that change and i want to make that change becoming a firefighter and police officer is the goal for these two coco high graduates new funding is making that dream a reality the city of coco just started a new public safety scholarship program totaling one hundred eighty thousand dollars for the first four recipients finding opportunities for employment immediately after high school becomes a super high priority for me so this is just a wonderful opportunity the city of coco is optimistic they can expand this program in the future to not only fill recruiting gaps but keep local kids right here in the community. I love Coco. I just I just want to stay here. That's a big deal because agencies across the country are struggling to hire. We're finding that a lot of people that are interviewing just are meeting the qualifications so we've had to find different innovative ways of trying to find more qualified applicants. A new study shows 94 percent of fire departments nationwide had staffing challenges in the past year and 87 percent of police departments are not fully staffed. After touring each department during school trips these new recruits are ready to get going. It's going to help me a lot so I was so happy about it. And the city's looking for more creative ways to put more first responders in the community. Reporting in Coco, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.